cattle used to graze down in this valley. Back when the only businesses here were workshops that built parts for the Swiss watch industry. Today, hundreds of companies build components for the industry. Along the banks of the Arve River, there are now lots of medium-sized companies. That's unusual for France, where big businesses dominate the scene. These businesses are focused on exports, just like Germany. That's why local residents call the valley Little Germany. One of the business owners is Lionel Beau. His company builds industrial precision parts. About 60% of the company's output is exported. For example, to German firms like Volkswagen. Bo takes a very German approach to his business. We put in more than 40 hours a week. Not 35 like they do in France. We work 40 hours a week. In fact, Bo's workers put in a lot of overtime and he pays a lot in extra taxes, but he says it's worth it. His approach gives him the kind of flexibility he needs to stay competitive. My two brothers help me run the business and we've developed a long-term strategy. In this business, you've got to make investments several years in advance. That's the only way you can keep the business stable. Neil Nelbo and many of the other business owners here in the Valley have joined forces to create a technology center that focuses on research and development. Bo pays an extra 50,000 euros a year so that the center's engineers can test new materials and come up with new ways to improve his products. The small businesses can't afford extensive research. So that's why we've pooled our resources to work on new projects. We compete with each other, but we also work on development projects together. This is the Haute-Savoie region on the French-Swiss border. The attractive scenery makes it a popular tourist destination. But the unemployment rate is 8% and rising. That's twice what it was just five years ago. Not all the firms in the region have recovered from the global financial crisis. This company, for example, builds parts for steering systems. For years, the owners invested too little in new technology, and the business was eventually sold. 36 workers lost their jobs. Others, including members of the Works Council, have had their hours cut back. We don't know what's going to happen. Are we still going to have jobs next month? We have no idea. The future is not clear at all. And that really scares people. Lionel Beau and many of the other business owners are disappointed with the policies of the French government. They'd expected the government to approve tax breaks for businesses and to relax labor regulations. But that hasn't happened yet. The labor laws in France are still too strict. Companies are afraid to hire people. If business slows down, the law says you can't lay people off. That's just too strict. We need more flexibility. Tomorrow, Bo will fly to Stuttgart to meet with Bosch company executives. Stuttgart is closer to his business than Paris, in more ways than one.